And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. It is Tuesday. We know that that's the beginning of the new week with Legends of Runeterra. So our expeditions have reset. We now can do three expeditions to earn some more champions. Because we got to get those champions so we can build all the decks possible. Uh, we just, just counted it up and I'm at 40 something, like 42 of the 72 possible champions. So we're getting there. We're going to earn another one right now. We're going to embark on an expedition. I'm going to use my... Um, my token that I got from the weekly rewards and let's begin the first trial all right so we're gonna be drafting um, all right so I think Shen is the worst of these three well maybe not um, Anivia is probably the most Anivia is the most powerful like Anivia is a very powerful card and yet he's not bad, and this card's not bad. Like this is a this is a definitely a good way to do well. But Teemo is so fun, and uh, this is a good bucket with Teemo. Thermogenic Beam's a good removal spell. Peddler is pretty good. The last time we did Teemo, we did not do well with Teemo. We actually the, my only ever zero loss league was the last time we did Teemo. So that means I want to I want to you know retry and get Teemo that seven win expedition. That is true. Uh, yep, fun versus value because and so like you know you get the two you get the two um, uh, whatever they're just called the two trials and so if you don't do well in the first trial you have the second trial like if we had a we, if we already did the first trial and we didn't do well and we had to do good. I would take the Anivia and go here. But this is the first trial. So we can experiment and try to have fun and try to do well with the Teemo deck. And if it doesn't work out, we got our second trial to back us up. But yeah, let's go for that Teemo Redemption. And let's take Teemo. Okay. Now, this is a difficult pick. Again, I, I don't think I want to take the Shen. It's between the other two. HXC, yeah, at least for a while. Uh, playing Legends of Runeterra. Uh, so we have Lux, which Lux works really well with P and Z decks with lots of spells. And a couple of decent cards for for that. So this this is a, a good bucket. But then we have the Anivia that I was just talking about. That's a really strong card. Um, the Iceborne Legacy is not very good. This is not a very good card. That's probably the, that's probably that's the worst card out of the three buckets. Actually, it's just the worst card here. Hmm. That's gonna be better for Teemo. Like, probably going. Uh, um, I'm sorry, HXE. Probably going like Freljord. Like Freljord can you know can have all like the frostbite stuff to slow the opponent down. And while you're slowing them down, like on the ground, the Teemo's winning in the air. We could have that plan. I don't know, Lux is super powerful also. And y'all can vote, and it looks like the votes right now are for Lux. Um, okay. Well, if we're playing, so Puff Cat Puddler wants us to play a lot of spells. And so if we're playing a lot of spells, like these are, these are definitely good spells to play with, you know, Puff Cat, or at least the Remembrance. But, you know, Lux is like a spell deck too. Um, uh, I don't think so, Blade. Are you talking about on, on YouTube? Spellbound is going to be a nice bucket to be in later down the line. That is true. Cast spells early and often. I guess I didn't really I don't really pay attention to these too much. We do want to cast spells early and often. So alright. We'll be there. Alright, so 
Another spell bomb, spell bound. Couple of decent cards. This card is better than I thought it was. Transform a follower into another follower. It's actually a better card, you know. So you turn like their six six with an ability into just a regular one one. But we have the Shroom and Boom, which which we want Shroom and Boom for the Teemos. We want all these Mushroom Cloud stuff. We want another Peddler. We want a Clump of Lumps. It's a pretty easy pick. So we're gonna be trying to make a a Teemo deck. True shot, so true shot barrage and thermogenic beam. Good removal. I think I'm gonna be taking good removal. Let's take let's take removal spells. No, yeah, I did. I didn't get any champs in my vault either. It's hard. It's hard to get champions in the vault, um, because you just get you get nine of the basic uh, capsules, so you get a whole lot of commons and a few rares. I got like I got no champions. I got one epic, and then like ten rares and twenty commons, and but like two thousand shards, so you get tons of shards. Um, Mystic Shot's awesome, but Mushroom Cloud isn't really worth a card. Even though we want Poison Puff Cap stuff, it's not it's not really worth a spell on its own because we have things that just just generate those. Um, but Mystic Shot is awesome. So that's kind of tough. Um, we could just do Static Shock instead of Mystic Shot, which is a downgrade, but then Golden Crush Bot is a lot better than Mushroom Cloud because this can just sit back and block. It's a pretty good blocker. Looks like a lot of people are saying this one. I don't like I don't like the middle one, honestly. I don't really like Detain. Um You got a Teemo from your vault? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, Blade, I know. I know. I need to update that still. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. That's on my to do list. All right, so we're gonna take I'm gonna take the the two five. I like two fives to block, and then the static shock. Um, this is good though because we have we have mystic. We're gonna get mystic shot. That's like not even good spellbound cards. Anyway, so we're gonna get mystic shot, and then it's either unlicensed innovation or assembly bot. All right, so how does assembly bot work? Does this does this have to be in play? Do you play it as a one one, and then every spell you cast it grows, or can it be in your hand and growing, and then like whenever you play it, you play it as like a three mana five five because you played. Okay, so it has to be in play. Blech. I think I'm gonna take the unlicensed innovation. Unlicensed innovation triggers Lux. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the innovation. Last breath, create a random random epic in hand. That sounds pretty good. An eager apprentice, or a two three elusive. All right, so we get a an eager apprentice, and then we either get a two three elusive or a three three last breath, create a random epic in hand. I like I like that. I think that's that's enticing. All right, mystic shot and prismatic barrier. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good one. Thermogenic Beam and Eager Apprentice. I like Thermogenic Beam. I don't really love um, the Apprentice. And now we're not taking the last one. Um, I think we're going to take this first one. Mystic Shot is a really powerful barrier. Can protect our Teemo. We're not really getting... Hey, there's a Clump of Lumps. I was going to say, we're not really getting, like, Peddlers. Hmm. The first two are both good. These are, I kind of want like Clump of Wumps with something else, but I think I'm just going to take Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam and just take these two spells that are both good removal spells. Plaza Guardian's nice though, and there's nothing really too wrong with Chempunk Shredder either, you know, for the decks that go wide, like Shredder is pretty nice. Um... All right, so okay, we have what we have nine nine units, nine spells right now, and I have two beams and two mystic shots already. Hmm. 
It's enticing taking this one. Because there are those decks that just go wide. Yeah, Clump of Wumps makes a spell. But yeah. Yeah, so we have like the Clump of Wumps to make a spell. Yeah. Um, I'll take take Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, I'll just take these. All right, another Barrier and a First Blade, a Shredder and a Sumpworks map, and a Barrier and a Jury Rig. I like all of the piles that we had last time more than these. <laughs> Um, I don't really like any of these. I think Shredder's maybe the card I like the most, but I don't like Sumpork's map at all. I think I'm going to take this first, this first column. It's probably the, the most useful column, getting a barrier and getting a first blade. It's probably the most useful because I don't really like maps. I don't, I don't like jury rig. I don't like either of those two cards. So I'm going to take this. All right, we've got a Puff Cat Peddler. I'm pretty into Puff Cat Peddlers for our deck. I think it's the best card and a barrier is just fine. Clump of Wumps and a Shredder. We haven't taken a Shredder yet, have we? Nope. All right, I'm I'm in there. Clump of Wumps and Shredder. Making this Teemo deck. Um, Mystic Shot, of course, is good still, but we have three, and this assembly is not good. These cards are kind of average. I think our best card here is Augmented Experimentor, so we'll go with that card, because that's our best card. And finally... The best card's the Tiana, but it doesn't really fit the deck. I think I made go this route, actually. You know, four Demacia could be a, a good card. Yeah, the, yeah, and then we just get another Mystic Shot. Hey, what's up, Storm? Doing good. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's see. So we're going to so we get one trade now. So we've drafted our deck. We can trade one card. So we can trade. We can do one of these three trades. We could trade a crush bot for a barrier, which I don't want to do. We, three is already like I wouldn't mind trading a barrier away. So we're not doing that trade. We could trade our six mana five five for another mystic shot. We already have four mystic shots. Um, I don't love six just six mana five five. It's fine. We could maybe do that trade. Because uh, we do have, we have four six drops. You know, that goes down to three six drops. That's a maybe. Hey, Candice. And then we have Experimentor or Chumpwump. And yeah, Chumpwump is awesome. But Experimentor is also really good. Whenever you play it, you discard your hand, draw three, and deal three to a creature. So if you play it as like your last spell, it's Flame Tongue Kavu plus draw three. Like it's it's insane. But with that being said, Chumpwump is is just kind of perfect. It's it's the best four drop. We don't really have good four drops. Eh, we have like one. So it's kind of like the best four drop, and we do have other six mana spells. Um I I feel like I kinda need to do this last one because of how good Chumpwump is. Just get two more you know, basically you're putting ten clouds, ten mushroom clouds. Or 10 uh, Poison Puff Caps. That's a tough call. Because, yeah, it, it, Augmented Experimenter is so good, too. These are these are some tough ones. Like, if these were flipped, I would give away the innovation for a Chump Womp easily. But it's my best six drop. Oh, well, I'm going to do it. 
All right, we need to win our first one because if we win our first one, we get another. This is this is what we struggled with the last time with the Teemo deck. We played two matches where we didn't draw Teemo. We got ran over by Noxus decks, and we didn't pick up a win. Because if we can just pick up one win, we can get a second Teemo. Hmm, it's hard to mulligan Lux, but it's also kind of hard to keep six mana cards in hand. Well, I guess I am. Fedricite, protect me. Oh, attack. Boom. Timo. Flavor, it's spice. I'm on it. I learned that in class. Batter him. All right, so we'll have Timo. Search then. Next turn. Ooh, Shadow Flare is a good one. Hmm. It does feel weird playing Teemo and then just wasting two mana where we could just play the Peddler. Oh, we're playing Teemo. The reason why it's just so important to get Teemo down as early as possible because every time Teemo hits them, you put five Puff Caps in their deck, and so we just want to get those Puff Caps started. Let's have some fun. And then at 15, we level up, and then every time we hit, we double them. Okay. We got the barrier that we can use our three spell mana on. Yeah, we could definitely be more... Yeah, we could definitely be in trouble with more Marauders, absolutely. It's going to give that plus two, plus zero... I think I'm going to be going for the Shadow Flare. Look what I... No one goes hungry. <clears throat> Safety first. Give all the followers ephemeral, so as soon as they do damage, they die. I'm still going to trade this off to save the 6 life. Armed and ready. The Vanguard stand is one. Hmm. That card's pretty tough. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. I wonder if I was supposed to be playing the Benefactor to jump with. Let's a light guide you. This actually works out really well. That they played something, now I get to play Lux with the barrier to block with. That just works out really, really well. All right, so we're going to give the Teemo a barrier. I'll protect you. They grow up so, so they have 13 puff caps. Not enough. Not enough to transform quite yet. Attack. <laughs> Demo. Laurent 
Ugh, I wish I could respond to that. I can't. Um... All right, so I'm going to Mystic Shot this thing. Yeah, Remembrance with the laser would, would kill it, but we'd already spent three mana on spells, so I'm going to save the Remembrance till after I reset here anyway. So I'm going to just double Mystic Shot, and then that will be six mana, so we'll level up Lux and get the final spark. Because the remembrance will get will be the six mana for Lux by itself. And we could final spark the 5-3 to kill it. All right, they took our Lux. Lux has been detained. I've gathered. Now I. They're not playing anything. I did, Ballisk. Uh, Ballistic. I did. You have to change it yesterday. Alright, two more pop caps. Down to 12. Um... Demacia shall prevail. No, stunned. A stunning turn of events. All right, Storm sounds good. Cap down to eleven. My axe is ready. It's kind of a waste of mana. But I, I know I could have cast Re Remembrance first and then cast that. But I re I want to save Remembrance for after we get Lux. Um I uh like your pauldrons. Yours are also hmm. acceptable. This won't be a fair fight. So I'm hoping to kill one with this and kill the other with this. Hmm. Guess they're not too scared of Teemo. Doubling their puff caps. No more holding back. 
They're down to two, and they basically have twice as many puff caps as they do cards. So it's pretty close to each card having two puff caps. So any draw step could kill them. There's a draw step that kills them. Two puff caps. All right, we did it. We won with Teemo. We actually drew our champions. That was very helpful. Lux is pretty great. All right, we add another champion, add a Teemo. Yeah, we get a Teemo and a Clump of Lumps and a Mystic Shot. Oh, that's a really good one too, Heimerdinger. And that's a good one with Lux too, but Teemo decks, you just want mul multiple Teemos. So. so if we're going in on the Teemo theme, the other cards actually may be better. Yeah, Lux was the MVP there, and, and honestly, Heimerdinger and Lux are probably better. But I'm not here for Heimerdinger and Lux. We can play those things in Constructed more. I'm here for Teemo. Hmm. Darn, I tried mulliganing hard for Teemo. Didn't work. We're gonna do the same thing. Play the apprentice on turn two to so we have three spell mana. So the next turn I can play the peddler and have a barrier backup. Ooh, double peddler. I think I only have two peddlers, right? I think. Think before you strike. I will teach you. It says three. Okay, I have three peddlers. Well, I mean, I guess we are trading one spell for their spell and their 1-1. One, one. But... I would have rather not had to cast that. Make your poison. Take a look. Um, not for now, Minasaur. Switched over to Legends of Runeterra, and I wrote about uh, what I really love about Legends of Runeterra yesterday. Why I like it more than Magic. And so I recommend checking that out. Oh, another back alley barkeep. That's pretty good. We are going to give them a lot of mushroom clouds. A lot of poison puff caps. So we get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for each one. So that's 22. So now they have 25 cards and 20, 24 cards and 25 puff caps. I didn't attack. I don't know. I could have. I 
I'm not I'm obviously not attacking with the peddlers. Hoping this works out, but they have a whole lot of mana, so I'll be kind of surprised if it does. And it does not. So that's 37 puff caps over there. Ooh. There's two. All right, got him down to 18. Can we kill them without attacking? Can we give him 20 puff caps? <clears throat> Probably not super likely. One peddler down. That hurts. Can we draw a Teemo? Double those puff caps. That really hurt. We're gonna start getting pretty lucky with these poison puff caps. My life the order. All right, take one. Down to 11. They got 42 of them in there. They picked the wrong row. Time for this can. Out. I'll melt away your shadows. Stay safe. I'll take Ouch. You here. Into battle with hearts aglow. They're just not going to play something. They're not going to play anything on their turn and let me play this slow spell. Winter's Breath. It's so slow. Well, I mean, I guess I can... No, I can't even... No, I don't have the mana right now. Yeah, maybe they do. If they... No, yeah, they're just playing it. No, yeah, so this is not going to happen. Come on. Give them a spell with... Because they have, they have lethal in the air. It's not going to happen. Come on, we need six poison puff caps on this one. One, two, three, four, five. No, six, I need six. Oh, I drew it. Mystic shot. Oh, they're going to let me do it. Wow, this, this worked out. Mystic win. Wow, they... 
Oh, and they had to deny. Good thing I tried casting that first. I mean, really, either way, it would have been lethal. If either of them resolved. Because if the Winter's Breath resolves, then that gives me a fleeting... I don't know, it gives me the... I don't know, the beam from Lux, and Lux would kill him. Man, that was a really lucky turn for me. Getting five Poison Puff Caps. On that draw. Rewarded. Alright, so we can trade away the first blade for a sixth Mystic Shot. We can trade away Remembrance for a second... Yeah, second Static Shock, or trade away the Crush Bot for a Radiant Guardian. I'm doing this one. Radiant Guardian is pretty nice. Crush Bot's not that special. I'm going to get the Radiant Guardian. Yeah, the draw card with Shadow Assassin. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is that is true. Yeah, because they had a, they had a lethal attack and they had deny backup. So yeah, they didn't go for the lethal attack deny backup. They instead played that spell and got punished. Turn one, Teemo, and we're on the play. Let's go. Another day in the field. Demacia isn't really known for. Elusive creatures and or removal. They have some removal, but not a lot. It is hard to pass up that sweet 30-30. I'll give him that. They have the mana to protect Fiora. Yep. Strike without worry. That's just the best place for me to play the beam. Though because it uh, uses all of my mana. Huh. So Teemo's just going to die. Teemo's just going to be dying. Yeah, I can play the puff caps and make make them take damage, but I could also wait and play peddler and then puff caps. No, I should probably just do this. Success is planting your mushroom. No, I was playing this. Still, the result was still is the same of Teemo would be dead. I'd have this 2-2. Two -two. It's the same result. Such unrefined style. Your move. Hey, Katie Dexterity. <laughs> two down. They have a pretty good Fiora deck. I fight for the fallen. Well, 
Well, we have like four mystic shots. We can maybe draw one of those. Or maybe five. I think I may have five mystic shots. <clears throat> My shield is yours. The sun is shining. We should too. I will cut you dry. You won't get away with this. I mean, it's still a 5-5. Five five. It's still not killing it. Shine with me. They're running out of cards. Ooh. Okay. We're going to do 3, 2, 1. That's a good draw. Yeah, that did kind of seem like a little bit of a waste for that Purify. Alright, I think we got this now. Fiora gone. That was like... It looked like my opponent's way to win was Fiora. Alright, it is a pretty tough 5-5. Five five. Um Banish the unworthy. Yeah, Remedy, I just wanted to get a channel name that didn't have a specific game in it. That is why I changed I changed my channel name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had we had so many puff caps last game, and yeah, now we're just kind of a generic beatdown deck. We have a few puff caps. There's one right there. So we got a couple still. Really, all we got to do is just stay alive. That looks pretty good. Burns on. At least. Oh, against the deck that didn't do anything for a while. Or like, well, against the deck that was all in on Fiora and then we killed Fiora. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Okay, so whenever we kill Fiora. 3 no. Yeah, Alexis Pros, I did. I meant to message you today. Do you know how to do, do you know how to do uh, like emotes? Uh, that that may be a little bit more artistic. I don't really, yeah, I don't know. But I could definitely use new emotes. Ooh, we get another Teemo. We just gotta take a third Teemo. Chumpwomp's good too, and True Shot Barrage is good also. All right, we're all in. We got triple Teemo. <laughs> this deck is good, all but the Teemo parts. <laughs> Yeah, the more Teemo, the better. Hey, Tinker. The best pairs for Expedition? Um, I think that, that Noxus and Demacia decks have done really well. Alright, no Teemo, Mulligan. Darn, still no Teemo. Three out of our 36 cards. That egg. Did it move? I personally think Shadow Isles is very powerful as well. Guess I'm not playing anything. Don't really want to use removal spells on those things. 
This can be a problem of building a deck around removal spells. You play against a deck with last breath creatures that you don't really want to kill. Well, let's get the peddler out here. We can have some protection for the peddler and, you know, maybe cast some spells and start getting the puff caps going. What is this? Oh. But Alexis Bro, so I, I saw your your uh, picture with like the gold. Um, they only have two removal. I probably don't need to keep barrier up this round. I saw I saw your picture with like the the gold border and stuff. I liked that. Um, as far as the the camera down at the bottom though, because I yeah every basically every other player for Legends of Runeterra has their camera down here. Um. But that, I'd like it basically on like this outline of this stone. So like it would go down here, down to the bottom, and go this way. Like that. You will not prevail. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Next turn's turn five, so I won't have innovation available yet. Okay. All right, we'll, yeah, we'll do. We'll do. I'll send you a message about that. Confine and contain. They're, all, they're down to just three cards, so we're doing pretty good of... Um you could be so much Ooh, that card's so good. It's a tough Silverwing Scout. Hmm. Yeah, how does priority work in the game? Basically, whoever is the attacker gets to start, gets to do the first thing. So you, as you see there around, whoever's the attacker gets to do the first thing. So they can go straight to attacks if they want. They can play a spell. Um, you know, if they go straight to attacks, then then you're in combat and um, and you know, then you can only play like instance. But if they play a spell like like that, then we get to play a spell also, so we get to play a, a creature. Ooh, Shadow Player could be good. It is, it's kind of tricky, the, the priority is kind of tricky. Right, I'm just going to get all these peddlers out here so that whenever we cast a spell, we give them nine puff caps now. So each spell that we cast, we're giving them nine puff caps. Unfortunately, next turn is turn 
Eight. Oh, it's eight. Okay, never mind. Perfectly. So yeah, we have perfect. So we have nine mana. So we can cast a shadow flare and a barrier. Um. I think we still need to do a little bit of blocking. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Basically, the the stack is always resolved. Oh, how is this gonna work with Trindamir? Oh, how is this gonna work? Oh no, what am I supposed to do here now? Okay, this Trindamir is very scary. Yeah, basically, whenever the stack resolves, like these are multiple fast spells, this, the entire stack resolves at once. So once both players say, okay, resolve, then it resolves everything. It doesn't just resolve one spell, and then both players interact again, and then it resolves the next spell, and so on. Like magic is, it just resolves everything. Follow my blade! Take two. I'm basically, I'm trying to keep my life total as high as possible to make so I can try to survive this nine nine attacking me. That's easier said than done. Hmm. I wish I had the three peddlers still. Just got the two of them. Oh, come on. Thresh also. Well, they got a lot of puff caps. They got this four power lifelinker too, though. So like that, that damage doesn't really matter because they'll just gain it back. Well, their battlefield's filled, so they should just be going straight to combat. Yep. I have to try not to die. So I'm already taking five here, so going down to three. So then we can block. Yeah, so just everything has to block. Yeah, I mean, everything's going to have to block. And so it doesn't really matter what blocks where. So that was six. So if they have removal for this, I die if I cast these other mushroom clouds right now and not hold up the barrier. I should probably just hold up the barrier, even though I, I miss out on uh, 12 puff caps by holding up the barrier. Six for each one. Oh, that thing's gonna flip. Please don't tell me it has trample on the other side. Okay, good. Wait, does it not have ephemeral anymore? Oh, it only gives the followers ephemeral anyway. 
Oh, I shouldn't have cast that other cloud because I need this beam to kill this thing. And this. Oh, right, that thing only gives followers ephemeral. Uh. Well. This isn't great. They do have 65 puff caps. Maybe one card has 20 puff caps. It's possible. Sacrifice for a greater cause. No, the, like those abilities don't go on the stack. Those ones just happen instant speed. One? That's it? I always forget that that card doesn't kill champions. So I don't know. Maybe there's a better plan. Maybe not. I don't know. That Trindamir is pretty tough to beat. Alright, we drew zero of our three Teemos. We need to do a better job at drawing at Teemos. So Innovation for Apprentice, Peddler for Mystic Shot, or Benefactor for Lancer. Well, I'm not giving away the Peddler. So we're not doing the middle one. Um, even the top one. I kind of like the innovation. This last one. So I would, would I rather have a 4 mana 3-3 three, three, last breath create an epic. Or the 5 mana 5-4 five, challenger last breath create an elite. It's definitely a much worse last breath. But it the whole challenger bit is kind of good so i'll take it all right we're playing against the control deck heimerdinger lux looks like they got a bunch of heimerdingers and luxes there's no teemos i want teemo Bleh. Bleh. No, there's not any upkeep, beginning of combat, stuff like that, no. It's basically, it's their turn, so they get to, they just act first. So there's not a specific time that, that combat happens, which is, which is kind of the cool part. You get to decide when you want combat to happen. When you're the attacker. Because the turn, the turn's just for both players. Both players get the same turn. Oh, that's a good one. We're gonna save the mana instead of playing this. Puff caps right now. Uh, All right, so they're designed. They're. <clears throat> they determined just to go to combat immediately. And... I'll just trade. And so now, after combat, since that was their action, now it's my action. So now I actually play the first thing after combat, even though it was like their... Their decisions. Now, now they get to play something. They passed. I will also pass and end the round. If I played something, then it could go back to them. But once, if you ever hit pass, like if I hit pass right now and then they just decide not to play anything, then the round's just over. Right? If you ever pass, and then if the other, like if, so basically if any, if both players pass, then the round just ends. Like right now, they just pass. So I could play this illegal contraption or I could pass back. If I pass, if I play this, then I have one. One mana, one mana is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna play it. No, there's not really any graveyard. When things are dead, they're just dead, like they're gone. Um, there are cards that bring stuff back. The only way to see is there's this log over here that you can you can kind of scroll through, but it's it's not great.
entropy, a never ending cycle. So I can use one thermogenic beam to kill this, or I can double mystic shot. We absolutely need to kill Heimerdinger. I actually think I double mystic shot. So I didn't go straight to combat because I wanted to play this thing first, but now they can play a spell before combat because I did that. Alright, so their priority. Answers. I have them. And because I saved the two mana from before, now we have three mana for the Herm Thermogenic Beam to kill this Heimerdinger. Awesome. That's a huge priority getting that thing off the battlefield. That's their best card. So they have four champions. Yeah, we have four champions right now. So they could have another Heimerdinger. That we know they have at least one Karma. They could have two Karmas. Take a look at this. All right, I'll finally cast this Mushroom Cloud. Yeah, and also Tinker, over on the, the YouTube channel, if you scroll down from about um, about 10 days ago or so now, my first Legends of Runeterra video, I, I played through all the tutorials also, if you want to see me playing through the tutorials and kind of explaining the game. You can check that one out. Um, it's not really worth a barrier, not really, but maybe I should be, like the reason to, like it's not worth the barrier, but the reason to use the barrier on it is that I'm not really winning a long game, and so use the barrier now uh, to get, you know, to get more damage in and put more pressure. That's what I want to save the barrier for though, so I'm, I'm glad I saved it. Glad I saved it. It's work, working out. Bleh. Where's our Teemos at? Or Lux? We haven't seen any of our four champions. Yeah. Yep. If you, you can lose games by decking. All right, so I'm going to block with a barrier. All right, so they're bouncing that. So the problem with playing the True Shot Barrage first is that then they would be able to play the Plaza Guardian. No, there aren't any Thoughtseize cards in the game. 
If you have a 5 plus power ally, kill all units with 4 or less power. It's not the best card to get, but... Man, that's an awesome card. Draw 3. I wish I had one of those. Yeah, nothing that, like, yeah, tutors directly. Yeah, but there is the two mana draw a champion. If you only have one kind of champion in your deck, you'll draw, you know, like that champion. And there's some other stuff kind of like that. Like, there's a, a four mana creature that says draw draw any creature with five plus power. So if you only have, like, one, one thing with five plus power, you'll draw that. That's okay. I mean, questions are good. It's all good. I learned that in class. I mean, I'm supposed to just play True Shot Barrage, do three, two, one. And maybe I should have just done that. Did like how this Mystic Shot hit. I guess they have their own Mystic Shot. Oh no, just another apprentice. I learned that in class. Um I need more threats. We have just been drawing spells. Okay, peddler. That's a threat. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. No, no kind of sideboard things. Nope, nothing like that. Just the cards you're playing with. Oh, come on! I was about to play that. Well, we each have three spells. Unfortunately, like this, we basically have two spells. This card is just a dead card. It's not a, a great card to have. Okay, well, they basically just have two spells also now. Well, I mean, they actually have two spells, so. All right, so 2v2 on the spell count. They have... They've gotten rid of three of their, or sorry, two of their champions. We've gotten zero of our champions still. Oh, come on.
virtue guides me. Oh, I don't have. Okay. A never ending cycle. Strike for justice. So I don't have the mana to play the reckoning right now. That was a really great card for them. Wow, that was a really great card for them. Because these are, of course, these are five power creatures. I need them to have four or less power. Well, they have 13 cards, six puff caps. Maybe, maybe we can kill them with puff caps. Um, I don't think there are any infinite combos. You can't go above... You can't go above um, 20 life, so you can't gain like infinite life. I don't, there's not really mill, like unless, it'd have to be like a, a, yeah, I don't think, there's not really mill. Transform one follower into another. They're just, they're just playing this, they're just getting these cards out of their hand to make turrets for Heimerdinger. So now they have a 6-1. And a 4-1. But they're down to two. You need to get them two more. They just attacked, right? Yeah, they did. So maybe I should have played this Mushroom Cloud instead. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? What a draw step. The Shredder. Deal one to all enemy units. Look at those toughness numbers. They drew a deny? Oh, come on. Wow. Who wants a taste of progress? Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, they they do have to block all of my attackers. The problem is this thing. He's gonna have overwhelm. Yeah, denial's the yeah, denial's basically negate. But but I can it's kinda like disallow. Uh, 
All right, we need to give him two puff caps. Basically, like each card has one puff cap. We need to get, be lucky and have the card they draw here have two puff caps. Three puff caps. And we drew a Mystic Shot. We have a million Mystic Shots also. Victory. Whew, that was... That was stressful right there. Puff caps. Okay. So out of these trades, I want to do, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this middle one. So I like the Shredder. We're going to keep the Shredder. Um, we already have three Thermogenic Beams. So I'm going to keep this one drop that can kind of block and then get us a, a big spell. I like that card. Um, I, I don't, like the Aerial Knot is, you know, kind of whatever for a three drop. But the Plaza Guardian can be much more impactful. I'm going to take the Plaza Guardian. All right, four wins. We're still going. Yeah, we, we need to get our Teemo deck going. Where's our Teemos? I have three Teemos in here. That was two games in a row where we didn't see a single Teemo. Come on. Teemo, Teemo. I mean, I'm trying. I'm mulliganing every non-Teemo card. That's one of the best one drops. Yeah, these are the champions. So you can see like what what champions your opponent has, and then what champions I have. So playing that so that we can Mystic Shot as well, because yeah, we're going to Mystic Shot that thing. And then block the other two. Hopefully just completely trade. We only got the one mana. Alright, good trades. So I just got the four cards. I guess we basically have four cards, because we got the two that we generate for free with the Mushroom Clouds. Peddlers! Have a Mushroom! Have a mushroom. <laughs> Reporting in. We got six mana. Ooh. I could block and then Radiant Guardian. I could trade then Radiant Guardian. Or I could just play another peddler and a barrier. Mm. All right, I'm going to against the my against what I really want to do. I'd rather have that peddler out. Oh, well, they have the the same idea. Let's brighten up their day. Carve a path. T E E 
Mo. Remedy getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, QQ. Hmm. That's not ideal. Alright, first of the day. So he spent. <laughs> Alexis Bros, let's go. Thank you, Alexis Bros. QQ, I think you just made that command like, like. Oh, okay, EXP help. Okay. Okay. For expedition. Okay. All right, we're good. Uh, let's see. I'll scout ahead. All right, so I'm putting this out here to show that we're in combat and then casting the burst spell, which gives them another eight of these. So we flip Timo. And so now we're going to attack and give them another 16, you know, double it up. So now they got 32 puff caps. For justice. Uh, Garen? Hey, Schnapps. Get that tier one sub for 27 awesome months. You are amazing, Schnapps. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think I'm going to cast this thing and do three, two, and just one over here. Hey, this, yeah, this is uh, Legends of Runeterra. This is a new game that, that came out about a month ago. Oh, right. We we're going to get the Lux Spell, and I could have dealt the one to Garen, and then... Can I... I can't take it back. And so I could have dealt the one to Garen and then the other four to Garen. Whoops, well, I'm going to try to kill this thing. Um, so, yeah, open-minded. I wrote about this game yesterday. Right there, why I like it more than Magic. This new game. Hope you check, th check that out. All right, well, I guess I could have gotten rid of Garen, but I'm going to get rid of this lifelinker. That seems pretty important as well. No more Hope burns on. All right, they're up to 38 puff caps. Ooh, they got five. Take five. Um, let's do three, four, five, and the one there. Not going to let them, you know, play another thing and then challenge her. Opponent surrendered. Good job, Teemo. That was definitely all you and not Lux at all. We're five and one. 
Triple Teemo. I'm just hoping they let us trade out. Get more Teemos. Nope. Okay. Well, this isn't a great trade out. Um, I actually like... I think I want to keep the Eager Apprentice over a second Static Shock. The one that I'm thinking about doing is this first blade for Plaza Guardian. I don't really like the first blade. So we can just take a Plaza Guardian instead. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Just get a, another Plaza Guardian. Ugh, so I haven't really, I've never really played Plaza Guardian before. Does the, does the, does it have to be in your hand? Or does the mana cost decrease when it's just in your deck? They have all Garen and Ash. That means they probably have a whole bunch of Ash. So they probably have a whole lot of Frostbite. Perfect. It can just be in the deck. Good. There's no Teemos. Four games in a row of not having a Teemo in the opener. And of mulliganing all, all of the cards and still not getting a Teemo. Yes, I do have plans to finish out Luigi's Mansion. I actually don't know where my, you know, like with the packing and stuff. I haven't found my controller. Discipline and steal. I don't know exactly where my, where my, um, I haven't, I haven't taken out, like, I haven't taken the switch out of the box yet, but I, I don't know where the controller is for the switch. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. This is going to be tricky with Teemo with Double Challenger. But yes, I, I am planning on finishing that for sure. I guess we do have True Shot Barrage. Yeah, one of the days of the week, and kind of thinking about, it, I'm thinking Monday, I'll play different, you know, play different games besides just Legends of Runeterra. And so I was thinking maybe Monday would work out the best with how the, which I know that was just yesterday, um, but that would maybe work out the best with, um, with the beginning of. Darn. Ready to do my part. Cynthia, isn't it? Keep up the good work. The beginning of the sorry, the Legends of Runeterra week starting on Tuesdays. Confine and contain. I know they took down my Teemo. Stay resolute. I got too greedy by casting that spell and had removal for Teemo. Lead our charge. Oh gosh, I have to kill that thing too. Ugh, I have to kill that and I have to kill Garen, but I only have one removal spell. I think we have to kill Garen more. Right on. It's all about staying alive. We're going to be giving them a ton of puff caps with our Chumplewump. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. We can turn that Scythria into something else. See, so I got seven mana. Um, yeah, there's there's a burn deck that's probably the fastest deck in the game. Um, I, it can kill on turn four. I have seen it kill on turn four, but that's very rare. 
or like you know maybe it was like turn four they were you know definitely dead and couldn't do anything kind of thing Okay. This ended up being very bad for me. This ended up being very bad for me. I played I played this wrong by playing this other peddler and stuff. I should have just gone straight for the transmogulator. Because now they get to attack with Sith, like they can just go straight to attacks and attack with Sithria, the bold, and turn these into three, three twos and kill my, kill my things. I was too greedy. Too greedy. All right, well, they did play something, so I do get to... I do actually get to play first here. All right, just gonna play all these spells that are burst spells, so I can keep keep priority. And play this to do three damage to the Cythria. No, Tinkler, there's the game just came out a month ago. There's one set. There's not like standard and modern and stuff like like no, there's there's just one set. And no, there's there's no such thing as ban list because this is a digital card game where they get to change they can change the cards. If anything's too powerful. Just one. Thanks, number fifteen. Thanks for the luck. Oh, resolve. We don't, yeah, we don't know anything about if there's going to be rotations when there's more sets. We don't know. That's not anything they've announced. Ugh. They've had a really good hand. All they have to do is go to attacks and they win, but hopefully one, two, three, four, five, six. No, they didn't get six of them. I need them to get a whole bunch of puff caps. All right, so they just went to attacks. No. 
I think I I played the the one turn that we talked about. I played that turn too greedy and need to try to get rid of the Scythria beforehand because those that four mana make two two one uh, cards were awesome. Like those cards definitely helped win on that game for sure. The two two one challengers. Those two cards were incredible. Hmm. The first two trades I don't like. It's really the last one. Do I want to get rid of a Plasma Guardian and get another Thermogenic Beam? And the answer could be yes. I'm not sure. We have two Plasma Guardians right now, three Thermogenic Beams. The beams are pretty useful. I think I'm going to take a beam. You know, just killing the killing the champions. You got to do that. All right, well, we are in single elimination now. We got five wins. If we lose again, we're done. We got to win two more to get that seven win league, which is possible. Hopefully we can start with some Teemos. Yes, we started with a Teemo. Finally. First time in five games, even though I have three Teemos. And we look at eight cards. We look at eight out of 30... Six and three of the 36 are Teemos, and we went four games in a row of having none. He had the legendary Teemo. Don't get in my way. We did have turn one Teemo, but we weren't attacking until turn two, which made it worse. Just a little worse, but we at least had the Teemo. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Could have played the Conservator first. Never know what hit him. Yeah, I have Pedro. I have for a while. Ready. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Better sight protect me. <laughs> yeah, there's. The, in Constructed, you can only have three of every card. We're, we're doing like a draft, you know, just like in Magic in a draft, you'd, you'd get however many cards in the draft that you, you get. You'll go no farther. Got nine puff caps. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Ooh. Just passed. Armed and ready. I love the smell of 
mushrooms in the morning. <laughs> Um I really hope they don't kill my team out. Ooh, a lux. So now they have 26 puff caps and if this hits it doubles. Yes, it hit, doubled up. 52 puff caps. Justice will be served. Okay, well, I guess you can have a pretty tough life linker. I guess that's fair. It's hard to kill people with puff caps with a big life linker, but we're going to try. The winds are pretty harsh. Just a moment. Oh no. Alright, well I was gonna play my Lux, but we gotta keep up harsh winds to save Timo from the new challenger. I'll cut them face me. Strike for justice. I'm a meddler, not a meddler. Not a meddler. All right, 57. No, just 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 let this happen. Don't worry about it. Bleh. All right, Timo down. And I'm out of spells. Never mind, got a spell. Um. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I guess this is probably a bad idea because the the five one challenger. And the 7-4 challenger. This is probably a bad idea. Just having Lux out here to die. Could have played like Plaza Guardian and attacked with that instead. But they kind of have to block. Yeah, I know. I know I need to get rid of this lifelinker. Could have gone like Lancer and try to kill the lifelinker. Stay back. They have close to three times as many puff caps as they have cards. A little bit less. Okay. Beam will take out the lifelinker. I know, that would have been cool if they drew 11 puff caps. I mean, it's possible. Fully heal an, heal an ally, then double its health. Ugh, and this just does 10?
Yeah, I can I can thermogenic beam it and put it down to one one, um, and I would get a lux laser. I guess maybe that's what I should do. I was thinking that to get another blocker out here for these first, but but I guess I do get the lux laser, so maybe I should have just done that. Um, I should still probably just do this and get the lux laser while we can. Yeah, I, I should have just done that before. Yeah, that would have been a better play. Oh, well, I'll kill this. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a better play just just to do the 10 right right now. Cuz I wouldn't have cast I wouldn't have been able to cast the so basically remember I would not be able to cast the final spark. The final spark is slow. After I cast the thermogenic beam, it goes to their action, and so then they would have probably just attacked. And if they would have just gone straight to attacks, I wouldn't have cast the beam until after combat. And they have a barrier, too? I've been hiding my life too long. But it does make it so Lux doesn't... Yeah, it's true. It does make it so Lux doesn't die to the Glory Seeker now. Or... Gonna have to wait till after combat to cast this final spark. For glory. Yeah, what are the odds that they draw 20 puff caps? You're mine. Come here. This is mercy. Well, we gotta try. Ooh. Okay, well, this elite can kill Lucian. We'll just do the damage here. He's not going to do it. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. It's like 20. It has the 2 in it. Yeah, we just missed the 0. That's all we needed was just the 0. What's the plan? We shoot them. Yeah, if I if I kill if I kill Lucian with this, then Senna flips. If I kill Senna, then Lucian flips, and so on. Can't try killing them both. I'm pretty sure Sen is a 5 3. Yeah, it gives you plus one, plus one, and double attack. So yeah, Senna turns into a 5 3. Dang, just three.
I was hoping they were going to play something and I was going to be able to throw down the Seeger Apprentice to be able to jump block. All right, well, I mean, I, I misplayed that game. I should have done the 10 damage to the thing right away, but as we saw, it actually didn't really matter because as we saw, they had a barrier in hand. So it actually didn't really matter. So actually, actually yeah, it was actually fine playing that 5-4. All right, trial complete. So we got five wins with Teemo. That very large life-linking creature that they made even bigger ended up being our downfall. Yeah, that was kind of unexpected. Um, I still felt like even before like that very last time of them playing those two spells, I actually felt pretty good about that game, thinking that we were going to win. But, you know, they had the Overwhelm card and, and so on, so we didn't. Um, yeah, but it turned, it turned out if I would have started with the 10-mana Thermo Beam, they would have had the... The barrier because they had that card whenever i cast it just a little bit after that um anyway so yeah we got five wins again with timo uh you know couldn't quite get there to seven um but uh was fun to play and that's that's the thing about timo decks they're fun to play haven't five is is the most that this ties us for the most uh wins we've gotten with a timo deck in expedition haven't gotten that seven yet i thought we were going to with this one though i thought our deck was really good I thought I thought this was a good enough for a seven uh, win expedition, but um, yeah, didn't didn't get there. All right, so we got trial two that we're going to be trying up next now. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, and uh, leave those comments. Let me know how you're doing on expedition, how you're doing with building up your Legends of Runeterra collection and what decks you're playing and all that kind of stuff all right but thank you so much for watching some legends of runeterra and i'll see you for the next video